Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know you guys miss me. I've been out for a couple of weeks, but I'm back. And just wishing you guys happy holidays. Hope you guys enjoyed your holiday, Thanksgiving, all that jazz. We're coming up to another holiday, Christmas. And then after that, my birthday, which is New Year's. So, but without further ado, I'm back with another video. Um, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Also, you know, keep that notification bell pressed to let you know of new videos that I pop out with. Um, I'm trying to get back on the grind. But as you see, we're doing another nail video and me practicing, you know, different techniques. And this one, I'm going to be featuring plastic wrap nails. So if you would like to, you know, see more of that, then keep on watching vibe to some music with me and i'll update you on everything that i've been doing lately all right stay tuned i'm excited guys all right thank you okay so as you see right here i am trying to get this form together on my practice hand i'm gonna probably invest in a better practice hand this is my first practice hand that I bought. Um, it does its job, but the fingers keep popping off and it's annoying. So I just kind of put some clear uh, Savvy Land poly gel right here just to kind of start with forming the nail. And I've been, actually, I've been really into forming nails. Um, however, this nail, I think because of these forms i don't know it's like between the forms and also the practice hand i'm just like uh something's gotta give i feel like this one kind of pointed down so it ends up curving the nail and i'm using my little flashy from e-nail couture i love that little flashlight so that literally it just flash cures so i was just kind of testing out um some new products that i got I'm probably going to post another video too, just of like a nail haul that I'm doing or not that I'm doing, but that I did, um, just to kind of feature different products that I got, stuff that was gifted, stuff that I bought with hard earned cash. And yeah, so this is how the nail form and as you see is very wonky. Um, most of my nails, honestly, guys, it's like a process. It's kind of like with me doing makeup, it's not going to look the best right now especially because i'm a beginner so it's just like you know i really kind of wanted to document my journey and kind of show you guys how i fix it how i you know get things together or what's going in my mind process because i'm mostly self-taught right so you know i didn't go to nail school or anything like that i just you know kind of do things how i would like or how you know i feel that would look good on my nails so as you see i'm filing because i'm like okay obviously i put too much poly gel and when you're doing like sculpting for that first layer you really don't have to put that much poly gel you're just trying to form a tip really and then kind of go in you're gonna go in with layers of gel anyway or acrylic i guess if you sculpt with acrylic it's the same thing but um yeah so yeah so that kind of came out pretty cool. I'm just filing away. <laughs> and oh my God, I'm going to film my nails because clearly I need a fill in. Uh, it's these three weeks have been rough, man. I'm telling you, um, I'm using my Gershon file that I got from one of the kits that um, was sent. So I can't wait to review that. And I think I'm going to just do videos of reviewing some things that I hauled separately and yeah um so yeah for the most part how was y'all's holiday how was y'all's Thanksgiving um for me it was kind of I was kind of down a little bit because I wasn't able to really be with my family like I wanted to because of this stupid you know 
thing going around in the world that I will not mention, but everybody knows. Um, so, yeah. And so I just want feedback on see how you guys doing for that holiday. I mostly worked, as you see. Um, school, school so far is doing pretty good. I'm just, like, rambling, honestly, because all we're doing is, like, filing. And I kind of want to just give you guys a better video where you can really kind of see how I file and shape the nail and, you know, see how everything is gone. And yeah, so, so yes. Um, so I filed that nail, um, and then I think right now I'm probably gonna start this whole process. So the idea that I wanted, as you see, I mixed a couple of colors um, with some gel. I had some gel paints. Um, thanks, Mom, <laughs> for sending me my gel paints. So I got some gel paints, um, and I wanted to do kind of like an ombre plastic wrap nail. I just had this idea in my head. I was trying to see what I wanted to do. But... I realized with gel because it's self-leveling it's a self-leveling property or material so I you know didn't feel like I had to perfect the ombre but the ombre is definitely noticed <laughs> so it's just like I didn't really blend the ombre like for example if I was just gonna do ombre like this um by itself yeah I would have to blend that out but because something is going on top of it I just kind of wanted the back it more like a background so I wasn't concerned and I went and tried to get that plastic wrap I did like little cut pieces because I'm like I don't feel like you need a whole big thing you don't that's the another thing you don't want to have your plastic wrap where it's huge you just want a nice cut piece and the other thing is to use gel so I used like um builder gel type if you use soak off gels i don't think it'll work i don't i haven't seen anybody try with the soak off gel but um i think builder gel is the best because of the viscosity i feel like soak off gel or top coat gel is just a little bit too thin and it's not going to give you the results that you want and i was like oh yes it came out the way i want it is you see like the ombre just is so nice oh my gosh i was so excited for that I was like, yes, I got my peaks. <laughs> so sorry for the sniffles. You know, I feel like I'm always sniffling and snotting on this channel. Sorry. <laughs> but um, so right there, I'm actually applying my MAC glitter. I have went through all my makeup stuff and I was just like, hmm, I wanted to see what I could also use some of the makeup or eyeshadows on my nails. So one of them was the mac reflex teal so that's the reflex teal that i use i kind of just wanted more like a not a galaxy theme but i'm into that you know and i cut off the excess um because it was just like like real thin parts kind of got everywhere from the plastic wrap so i was just kind of like cleaning that up a little bit before we did the design so i'm going in with some black nail polish and I also tried to mix this up with clear, but clearly. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm going to do a little shot game. And every time when I say black in this video, I, I want you guys to take a shot. I know this is random, but it's hilarious. Thanks. Get drunk. Um, it wasn't clear enough. It's kind of weird with black. Because I wanted it to be black, but I didn't. I wanted like a sheer black, if that made sense, without it turning gray. And that's very hard to achieve. So what I did was I was like, you know what? Because black is very pigmented and I kind of want the other stuff to kind of show through. Um, what I'm going to do is just uh, put the black on top oh what I didn't tell you guys what I learned is when you put like a pigment on top of this type of design you want to also 
put a very thin layer of base coat on top so that way the pigment doesn't go anywhere um and you could as you see like you could still see my pigment through um if you don't do that it's like i did i tried to do it with my other nail that i'm going to show you guys um for a christmas design that i also did and it just didn't work out the same so that's just a little side note that i learned but ooh, it's coming out pretty cool um i like it even though it's i know it, it looks wonky it's gonna look wonky it's gonna look kind of weird gonna look a little lopsided all that because you just want the design to kind of you know pop out but that's actually what i was looking for i wanted to see those peaks i wanted to see a definitive ombre <laughs> and so i finished curing that and i'm gonna go in with my poly gel so i feel like for encapsulating i haven't tried clear acrylic i haven't really tried acrylic at all yet um mainly because I'm kind of on the hunt of looking for a good monomer where it's odorless because I have I'm very sensitive. I have like sensitive to smells and you know, I have asthma. So it's like I kind of try to get something where I'm not going to pass out using it. Um, <laughs> so I digress. Anyway, poly gel. <laughs> it's like you ever, you guys ever run into something where. I know I'm rambling and you guys are going to kill me for that, but whatever. I haven't seen you guys in three weeks or I haven't talked to you guys in three weeks, communicated with anybody. So you're going to hear me ramble. It's my channel. Oh, well, if you don't like it, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm going to continue to ramble, but you know, cause you're going to see what I'm doing in the nails anyway. So I like to encapsulate with poly gel and that's where I leave off. Like I said, I never tried acrylic. Acrylic is probably faster, as I noticed. I can't wait to try it. I just haven't tried it because I'm looking for a monomer. But, um, yeah, but I like to encapsulate with poly gel. Now, I've also tried this design with poly gel, and it didn't work out as best as I liked it with builder gel. I feel like builder gel gives you the best results. I've seen a couple of YouTubers on here um they tried also with poly gel and some of them came out pretty good kudos to them i guess it depends on the gel and the thickness of the gel or how it is because some poly gels they're all they're not all created equal some are very thick and it's like you kind of have to be careful because you can also layer it thick and some kind of come off really thin and kind of watery not watery i'm sorry but like thin and viscosity where it's really loose and sticky and you know maybe you can use that for this design but I encapsulated it and I'm filing it to kind of create the shape back because clearly this shape is really wonky so I just took my Gershon file it's a little bit more stiff and um yeah and I'm filing it just creating that shape and then um, I'm gonna go in and go in with my e-file, which is like my best friend, and really kind of debulk it. And that's where you're gonna really see the design and the encapsulation a lot better. What I noticed too with black gel, um, I had to end up kind of going back and recuring that nail several times because it is black gel. And if you don't cure it, so what I should have did instead of like the 60 second cure, I should have cured it for 90. As you see, like it's going to start like gunking up on my e-file, but I went back and um, cured it. So I won't have that issue. If you feel like your poly gel is coming off on your e-file, that means you didn't cure it all the way. So that's another thing. So with dark colors like black or a dark maroon, you want to make sure you kind of cure it for like 90 seconds instead of the 60, just to make sure that they're all cured. And I'm just filing and, you know, revealing that shape. That apex is a little bit, my apex is a little bit far. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit, it's a little bit off. I feel like, 
I didn't want it towards the cuticle, but then again, I didn't want it so far away. But I mean, I'll fix it because as you see, like towards the tip of my nail is getting a little bit thick. But anyway, I fix it. I fixed it, you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave you guys alone. As you see, I've talked too much. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you guys rock out. And I'll come back to show you some more stuff. So, thanks for watching. Okay, so I finished filing and I kind of wipe off the dust with some alcohol wipes. And here's the moment of truth. Oh my God, that nail looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. I can't wait to do like a set of these, but I also do a lot of things on my practice hand. So that way I know what to do on my own nail. So I was undecided between this or like sweater nails, which um, I'm gonna film a sweater nail tutorial soon because I think I'm gonna do that on my hands first. So I was just like, you know what? But I wanna do something for Christmas. So I ignored those first two um, hands. They, the white, I did them with white. I was like, oh, let me do it with a white overlay. And I didn't like how they turned out. So I'll just kind of fast forward and jump to the Christmas ones that I wanted to do. So I wanted to do different plays of red and green. So I did the foil with the green. And I also did the foil with the red and the glitter. But most of the glitter actually ended up not showing up, which was kind of disappointing. As you see, I'm kind of struggling there. And I just cured that in the lamp and then um you know i'm slathering on that green so um the green had the same issue i had with the black because it was real pigmented so what i had to end up doing i originally kind of ladled the green on there and i was just like you know what um i should have just kind of put it on thinly so i kind of took most of that off it became a mess as you can see <laughs> but uh, you know, you live, you learn. So I was like, you know what? I kind of like how that looks. So yes. <laughs> so I'm actually, the red nail is actually off screen. But as you could tell from earlier, once again, I am encapsulating with the poly gel. And I'm going to just continue doing that. And then um, I'm gonna show you how I file and get everything together. Once I file everything, cure it, file it, and then um, I'm gonna finish with the top coat. So I'm gonna actually let you guys um, vibe out to some music and I'll be right back. Bye.
Okay, so as you can tell, um, right here, I kind of let the nail cure. And I think it's when you have a whole bunch of layers of gel, you want to make sure each layer cures properly. So with the poly gel, unfortunately, maybe it was a position that I had with the lamp, but um, to me, it didn't really cure as well as underneath or not underneath, I'm sorry, the lower part of the nail. So I'm just kind of filing down the lower part of the nail and as you saw it's stuck so I put it back in the lamp and I'm going to continue filing. Okay, so here I um, fin I'm finishing up the nails. I'm just painting the top coat on them. They look really Christmassy, as you can see. Um, I actually like the red one over the green one, even though both of them look really kind of cool. I definitely don't like those two white nails, as you saw. That's why I didn't even bother even showing you the film of those. Um, but this is how the green one came out. It came out really pretty. Um, this is how the red one came out. That was really pretty too with the combo. I probably want to do it with a probably darker green for Christmas. But you know, well, this is how the original one came out. And that one is just like, uh, I'm so proud. That's the ombre. And you could see like the little reflex. But thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click that notification bell when you need to and check out all my social media platforms. Thank you, bye.